Hey everybody, here's a fun fact for this Christmas time. Did you know that Jesus is in the Christmas tree? That's right. When you look at your Christmas tree this Christmas season, just remember, Jesus is in the Christmas tree. And you might ask yourself, well, hey, how was that? Well, I'm here to tell you. In 2 Timothy 2.19, it says, Nevertheless, the firm foundation of God stands. And in Matthew 7.24, Jesus says, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. We always start off by putting a Christmas tree stand down on the ground. And it has to be a firm foundation or our tree will stand. Also, in John 15, 5, Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who stays in me, and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Well, a tree trunk is just the same as a vine. It's just a big vine. And then we get to be the branches, and we get to be engrafted into Jesus. Isn't that cool? Then in Revelation, Jesus says, He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. For a Christmas tree to, to survive, it has to have water. Well, guess what? For us to survive, we have to have water. Jesus says, If you drink from me, you will never thirst again. In John 8, 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He who that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So when you look at your beautiful Christmas tree lights, sitting there blinking and shining, know that Jesus is the light of the world. He came out of darkness to give us light. That's a beautiful thing. And then in 1 Corinthians 9.25, it says, Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. And they do it to get a crown that will not last but will fade away. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Do you know that Jesus promises us a crown? And that we are to store our treasures in heaven and not on earth? And by doing so, when we look at the ornaments on our Christmas tree, remember that Jesus has got a crown waiting for us in heaven, and he's putting jewels in that crown for us. In Isaiah 1.18, it says, Even though your sins are like scarlet, they will be like snow. Though they're like crimson, they will become white like wool. Now, before we come to Christ, we are dead in our sins. And that white blanket that you wrap around your Christmas tree to represent represent snow tells us that Jesus makes us white as snow. In Romans 6.23 it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. When you look at those Christmas gifts under the tree, remember this. Jesus is the free gift to us. He died to take our sins away that we can be forgiven and go to heaven one day. It's a free gift. Then you might be asking yourself, well, hey, but what about the star that's on top of the tree? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because in Matthew chapter 2, verse 1, it says this. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and I have come to worship him. You would be a wise man too if you were to follow Jesus and come and worship him. And that is Jesus in the Christmas tree. Have a Merry Christmas.